Now, I know you all voted for something else for the 3K special, but I decided I wanted to make this. It's simple, it's easy. I can't open the bottle, one moment. And the first thing you are just going to typically you would measure out and no, this is not the healthiest way to make these. It's just the way I do. Typically you would measure out how much oil is going to cover the pan. And then you want it a little bit deep. Not too deep. However, since I have done this a few times, I have oil that is pretty much measured out and therefore ready to go. No measurements needed. You just need it to where it's not barely covering the pan, but a little bit thicker. Now this will probably be darker than your oil, just for the fact that this has fried a few batches already. I reuse this oil, I add more oil when I lose oil to the potato, otherwise I just have a bottle of designated frying oil. So all you need is oil, a peeler, a bowl of water if you don't have that ready but this bowl is just because I'm going to hyper peel everything and while it's waiting to go into the pan you keep your potato peel in water to keep it from going brown sadly I do not have a cameraman right now because he is upstairs and I cannot peel a potato with one hand. So I do need to put the phone down. But I have done this before, so it will not take long to turn this entire potato into, th into tiny thin chips ready to be fried. I'm sorry, I only have so many hands. By the way, hello issue, I am doing all right.
right, so, hello, Dar, hello, Saul, hello, Gurdura, hello, Mulk. So, this is about how many I would start with. As you can see, what I've done is use the peeler to make these chips. They're pretty thin. You can pretty much see through them in some cases. Hello, Daniel. So the second step after you've made the chips is you turn on the oil. Now you're actually, surprisingly, going to want this at a semi-low temperature. Because surprise, surprise, if you put something wet with water into oil, it is not happy. I also have a smaller chip called a test chip because you can't, you don't want oil to smoke because it's going to smoke before it starts to boil. So I put a test chip in and when that starts sizzling, I know it's time to put in the rest. So this test chip is going to end up much oilier than the rest. And while that also heats, I need to find one of my cooking utensils, which is essentially a metal scoop with a grate that lets me just fish out the chips. I don't seem to be able to find it. I'm also going to need a plate with paper towel so that the chips have somewhere to drain. Not really a shoe. All right, so it's not right. Not right. Not right. Not right. Sometimes, something just wanders away, and no one ever knows where the fuck it went. I guess for lack of a better tool, I might try this. But it is weird, the one thing I barely use is missing from the one place we keep it. Maybe it's down here? 
Okay. You didn't put it in my stash. Hello, Ash. Hello, Slow. The test ship has sank. That's not a good sign. It means it should have started being heated before it managed to sink. So I'm just going to turn up the temperature, which should bring, which should bring the test chip up and should boil that test chip or at least fry it. And once it starts at a frying temperature, I'm going to drop it back down just because I do not want this oil to smoke or to actually boil. Hello, Ray. As you can see, here is our test chip. I'm not sure you can see. Oh, there you go. Here is the test chip. It has risen up again. Hello, Roast. And it has started bubbling. I'm going to ease it down. Because again, I'm trying to prevent the oil from boiling and I'm going to add another chip it looks ready I have to be careful because I am in shorts and a t-shirt and I do not want this oil popping up at me and it does not like the fact I'm putting things covered in water in it. It is most unhappy. If you wanted a healthier way to make these, I would honestly suggest putting your oil in a spray bottle, cutting up your potato chips like this, not using water, spraying them down, and putting them in the oven. They'll soak up far less, they'll crisp better. I was going over here to grab the salt. And I'm going to be grabbing a bowl to put my finished chips in. Now, I don't know about you guys. I know you guys probably like yours crispier, and I do like the crispy ones. However, I also do enjoy when only the outsides are crispy and the inside's a little still soggy. I actually kind of like that about homemade chips. Here is test chip. Hey, hello. 
Hello, Abel. Abel, uh. I am adjusting the oil temperature to a point where I won't get burned, but that the chip cooks. Because I don't feel like having the oil pop at me. Daniel, I am 22. I typically tell when the chips are done, when at one point on the chip, it starts turning a light brown. Now, for those of you who are aware that my cat passed away about a week and a half ago, I am still in the process of calling the shelters, as there are quite a few of them, and vetting through the possible cats to figure out who has the proper qualities to become my next service animal. This cat will be trained to do simple commands along with alerting to my blood pressure and to any irregular heartbeats I may have, along with my anxiety. Cats are able to be trained any, for any service task a dog can be, if that service task is alerting. Cats are not able to be trained as your blind, guard anim blind guide animal, and they cannot be trained to assist you if you are in a wheelchair, as they are just too small. But for seizures, diabetes, blood pressure, heart rate, anxiety, depression, they can be treated or trained for those. They are also able to be trained for people of who are on the autism spectrum. chips are starting to brown just slightly. Anyway, 
They're able to be trained for these things. However, you need, just like with dogs, a dog with the correct temperament and personality. Sadly, in 2011, the ADA made it illegal for you to have anything other than a miniature horse or a dog be your service animal, as they considered cats to be untrainable. While it is a little harder to train cats, just because cats have not been bred to want to please humans as much as dogs, is not impossible. If you were to find two cats who have that temperament and you breed them to have a litter of kittens and then pick out the kittens that have the same temperament and you keep doing that with breeding pairs, you would find out and make a highly breedable, let's say species of cats. However, no one has done that. Because cats have this stereotype of being their own boss, they won't be trained, yada yada yada. When in reality, the reason you can train dogs so well is because we picked out the ones who obeyed us to keep and we trained them to do things for us. And then we bred those dogs. We kept going for hundreds of years. So if you tried hard enough, you could get the same result with cats. Hello, Shawshank. I just salted those. And I am going to have to keep a very close eye on them, as we do have a reoccurring ant problem each year. So I need to make sure the ants don't get those. I am making potato chips.
I think this chip is just gonna end up permanently folded in half. I can't seem to get that to unfold. Hello, Sanity. Sleep, sleep, sleep well, Rostrum. Roast them. Sleep well, roast them. Now when I'm done with these, I'm going to have to leave this pan here to completely cool off. The reason you see that oil bottle over there has kind of been fucked up at the bottom is because that's what happens when you put very hot oil in plastic. Just, it doesn't go well. Ah, it's all fried together, fuck. No fear, no face reveal, Palo. Sorry. Sleep well, Daniel. And this is not dinner. This is a movie snack. And by all the copyright laws on YouTube, I cannot show you the movie. Sorry, guys. Plus, I don't even own the movie. Jonathan. Now again, be very careful putting them in, because this is a great way to fucking burn yourself. Hello, 
ने के Well, dreams are achievable if you put your heart to them. So let's see. Before this next batch comes out, that batch is going to go into my bowl. Trying to make sure these aren't stuck together. Auden. Sleep well. I'm making potato chips. Those two are just connected. And some of those two. Maybe. Yep. Nothing to be done now. Hi, Kevin. Hello, material.
I'm doing all right. Still searching for the perfect new cat. I emailed two shelters. I called about five to six other ones. One of the shelters I emailed got back to me saying they don't have any cats that fit, but they will email me if one arrives that does. For a 3.5k stream, you guys seem to have voted that I should attempt to make cheddar cheese. Now, I'm not going to put any dye into this cheddar cheese. So what you're going to be getting is white cheddar cheese. Also, as a reminder, I don't know how to make cheddar cheese. I'm going to have to look that up. Now, as these fry, I actually need to make more. So you guys are going to get put down again for a small amount of time. Hello, Raphael.
Hi, Spartan. You will see nothing because I had to put the phone down to make more chips. Hello, Kiwi. I am making potato chips. Sleep well, Nikki. All right, so I have almost all of them cut. I do need to tend to the chips in the pan a little bit. And I do need to flip these and kind of group these up. 
to make sure there's room for the ones in the pan. And to make sure they are drying effectively. And while those cook, I'm going to finish the rest of the chip making. Hello, Gunty. Thank you. It is a little difficult not to cut myself when I am at the end of the potato, but I am managing so far. Okay, I'm done. I just had that little bit of potato left. Don't. The ants are moving over here, so I gotta watch out for them. Here's one.
I'm trying to get them to drain the oil off. One moment, this paper towel needs changed. It's 11 at night. I guess the desk to them part. And after this, I'm going to watch a movie and eat my chips. I don't actually know what movie.
By the way, hello, dude. With me making cheddar cheese at 3.5k, I'm then just probably gonna make butter at 4k because that way, 4.5k, I can show you guys a grilled cheese. A grilled cheese with homemade bread, butter, and cheese. Because I've already shown you guys how to make bread at 1K, I think. It was either 1K or 1.5K. I said at 5K is the grilled cheese. At 4K, or, sorry, no, wait, let me think. So this is 3K, 3.5K is the cheese, 4K is the butter, 4.5K AI is the grilled cheese, my bad. 5K, I'm going to have to reference that list I gave you guys. You'll find it in my community. It's really long. I'll probably mention it after this stream. And on that really big post I made, you can post a vote of, I believe it was five or 10 items you want me to make. And then one item you might want me to add to the list. I mean, if you guys vote for it, the pizza could easily be at 5k. Why wait for 8? I mean, it could also be at 5.5k if you really want to see me make the uh, mozzarella. Because, unsurprisingly, I actually only like plain cheese pizza. So that would be only mozzarella. You guys, however, could put whatever the heck you want on it. Maybe at 6K I could make the sausage for if you guys like sausage pizza. Or maybe 6K could just be sausage and then also the pepperoni. Like, I wouldn't actually eat either of those things, but I could show you how to make them and then feed them to the two people I share a house with. Again, if you can't find the voting thread in my community tab, I'm just gonna reshare it after the stream ends. Mozzarella is probably not going to be like that good A tier shit because the good A tier shit burns the fuck out of your hands. And I'm not here to shove my hands in boiling cheese water. Just to make some kick ass mozzarella. <laughs>
Okay, good. Those separated. Well, see, the reason I don't know what movie I'm watching is because it's a client order. So they are picking the movie. They, I think, are actually watching me cook right now because they wanted to. And then we're going to watch the movie. How do you look at this and see french fries? trying to keep the ants away as well. Don't worry.
Hello, Cece. And with that, I'm going to be ending the stream here. I'll see you all next time.